Here are some troubleshooting tips you can use for Hugo, just some common things that I've run into and that I've seen other people run into. First off, if you're running on Windows, but even on Linux or Mac, if Hugo's not in your path or you're having issues with the path, that can be kind of a hassle. So this is a Windows specific one, but first off, you wanna echo your path to make sure you know what's in the path, and then the Windows command to see where the binary is coming from is where, so if you do where Hugo, it'll show you the path to Hugo. On Linux, you can use which, and I'm not sure about Mac. But in any case, make sure that you've got your path set up. Just getting started, it can be something you need to address. So make sure that you can find Hugo in the path, that the path is set up. And one other note is if you're running not as an administrator and you put Hugo in Windows System 32, that's gonna cause problems. So there's a couple solutions. One is to put Hugo somewhere else and use that as your path that you can access as a normal user. Or two, run the console, the command prompt, as administrator so that you can access Hugo in that directory. Okay, another troubleshooting step. If you are running Hugo new, let's say foo, and you get this error, you don't have trailing new lines in the archetype. So the default or post, whatever one you're creating, if you just add in that extra new line and then run it, it works just fine. Another issue that you might want to make note of is how to find out what's in your context. And by context, I'm referring to the context, the dot in your templates. So th let me give you an example. Let's say you're trying to use the description and something else in your params in the config. The easiest way I know of to do this is even if you're using a theme, go into your, your main layouts directory and add a new file, just index.html. So this is gonna override the index.html that's out here in your layouts. So instead of using the themes index.html, you're gonna be using this one up here. And this is just a temporary kind of a debugging tool. So what I like to do initially is so let's do site params. And I just dump out the contents of this dot, this context. And if we run Hugo and then return, we can look in here to see these are the two values that are coming out. So we know that the values are there, but what are the keys? What can we use to actually access that in a template? Well, you do that by saying key value and these can be anything. They don't have to be named key value. They could be foobar, but it just makes sense. So they could be kv. And then down here, instead of using the dot, you could do key. And then if we want to be a little fancy, we do value. Then if we run Hugo again, we can see the output showing us the key name description. And you can see that it follows the description as well as the value. So these are the keys we'd use in the templates, and these are the values we'd be getting out of them. And you can use that for things like taxonomies. So this shows us we have the taxonomies of categories and tags, and then we have a map inside there, and there's the X and Y. It can be a really helpful way to see what's going on and to see how to traverse things in your templates. Another useful tool is Hugo's debugging. And if you run Hugo-V, it will show more output as far as what's going on. Some of these are just warnings, like not being able to find the 404, not an issue, but it's something to know about. And in the other cases, you'll see a little bit more information about what Hugo's doing. So you'll see the config file that it's using, where it's syncing from, and then what the taxonomies are. And that can be a, a useful way to troubleshoot some things and figure out what's going on. If none of those techniques have worked, other resources you can use are the documentation, the themes to see how other people have done it in their themes. You can use Steve Francia's site in his website, how he's done things. You can also use the Golang package template docs that shows how you can do things and it has a little bit more documentation than the HTML template. I think they're inherited from one another. You can also use the docs that gives an example. This is a, just a basic Hugo site inside the Hugo docs folder. And of course the discussion 
is a great resource too, where you can get people who are actively using Hugo to help you out. And lastly, if you're finding something that just doesn't make sense, it's possible that there's a bug or an issue and someone else may have found it already. So if you look through the open issues, you might find a workaround or at least knowing that you're not alone and it's going to be fixed soon. Hopefully that has helped you with some troubleshooting of Hugo and figuring out how to resolve any issues you run into.